Okay, so I have a massive, massive, massive benefit haul. You guys know that I'm affiliated with the company. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about that. Um, I found out that I can tell you that I am affiliated with them. So, for the record, and for everyone who has been asking nonstop, yes, I am affiliated with Benefit. That being said, um, I did a huge haul um, with Benefit because I wanted to, number one, stock up on all of my favorite stuff. Um, stuff that I already love that I wanted to get a hold of again, like restock and stuff. And then stuff I wanted to try, um, stuff I've been wanting to try, and then stuff that we need for, um, like to promote new products and stuff. Um, this is all aside from that other massive benefit haul. So yes, I'm a benefit addict. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about that. Oh god, I have so much stuff in here. Okay, so first things first, I got another professional. Um, I have the original full size and I have a baby travel size that I put in like my makeup bag when I come to pandas. Um, but this is what the full size actually looks like. Um, I had one and then I gave it to my mom. <laughs> um, she loves it so much. Like this is amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. Believe me. Um, from all the clients that I've ever experienced this with, I find that it works the best on more mature clients. Um, they're always concerned about fine lines and wrinkles and how big their pores are getting. It does work on all kinds of skin types and all ages of skin. Um, but I just find that it works the best for more mature skin because they're always so concerned with like fine lines and wrinkles and um, their pores getting bigger as they get older. Um, and then if you if you are younger, like you're my age, I personally like it to just smooth across my face. Um, a lot of primers are silicone based, so they're um, like for example, let's see, a uh, Smashbox Photo Finish, the original. Um, it's kind of silicone-y and that can get a little oily on the T-zone for me personally. This does have silicone in it, but it also has vitamin E. Um, to make it even better, it's lightweight and oil-free, so that's what makes the difference for me. Um, I don't use it for pore minimize, minimizing because I don't have big pores, um, but I do use it to just kind of smooth across my face. Um, it allows for a much more, much, much more smoother makeup application. I I can sell this like hotcakes because I, I know it works amazing. And then I picked up a Benetint. I like the Berry Kiss lips look. Um, I love, love, love our Benefit um, Benetint Lip Balm. It is amazing. I wear it all the time. Everyone at the counter and everyone who comes to the counter always asks me what I'm wearing because they think it's some grand lip gloss or something and it's just lip balm and they're always so surprised to find out it's just lip balm. Um, that lip balm has this Benetint in it, but the reason why I wanted the original Benetint was because um, I just kind of like to dab it on my lips and then I kind of cover it a little bit with either clear lip gloss or the Benetint Lip Balm. I'm sure you guys have heard about this. This is What's Up. What's Up. Um, every time I I say this to someone, I think of that commercial, what's up? Well, the commercial is based off the movie, off Scary Movie, when that's when, that's to me when it first came out, when, um, Smokey was, uh, like, he was all high and shit, and he was like, what's up? Yeah, so, anyway, what's up? <laughs> um, the packaging, I feel like it's kind of cute. I mean, it's supposed to be like, turn on what you got. I mean, there's like a whole slogan around it, but in short, let me just tell you the real tale. Um, what it is is a softer champagne colored highlighter. This is amazing on tan skin. Looks like that. And then it when you blend it out. This is amazing though. I'm I'm not going to joke. I think this is by far my second, sorry, second favorite highlighter from Benefit. I love this stuff. Um it's a cream to powder finish, so it's great for those of you who are oily and feel like you don't want to use highlighters because they're normally in liquid form or um in like mineralized baked form and you feel like it makes you look oily or shiny. This won't do that to you. It's softer on the cheeks. Um I wore it yesterday, so I don't have a picture of me wearing it, but I always get compliments when I wear this, and everyone always asks me what it is. It's so versatile, in my opinion, um, because of the texture, unlike the other Benefit highlighters where you can only put it in certain places because it's liquid or gel-like. Um, this one is a cream to powder, so you can do it on your eyes, you can do it on your cheekbones, down your nose, in your corner, on your brow, wherever you want. I got a backup of highbrow. Um, I love this stuff. I adore it. I've had it for, I don't know, like maybe four or five months. I had it before, um, but I also had my Anastasia Matte Highlighter, so that's another thing that I also used. Um, but I like this ten times better. Number one, the pencil's longer. Number two, I, 
I had to sh I didn't sharpen it until like two months down the line. Um, it's easier for me to blend. Um, I'm wearing it underneath my brow right now. That's what's giving me that little highlight. Um, it's funny. It tells you what color it comes in, but I'm not. It, it only comes in one color, yo. <laughs> so um, this is what the full size looks like. It's pretty big. Um, it's about as wide as my palm, and then oh, and then it's like a thick chubby pencil. I've talked about this before in a video before, and you guys will see this in my future how I do my brows video. So yes, look out for that. Um, I just got a backup of it because I love this stuff so much. Um, and then I got Ula Lift. This is one of my favorite products ever. Um, it says instant under eye bra brightening boost. Right there. I love this stuff. Um, it's it's amazing. It's like perfection in a bottle. I'm not joking. So it's pink. Okay, and um, it comes with like a little doe foot applicator. This is amazing stuff. Um, it is like an instant eye depuffer. It has raspberry extract, chamomile. It's really going to firm up your eyes, like literally give it an instant lift. Not joking. A lot of my mature clients that have eye bag problems love this stuff. Um, I also have clients who are more in the younger range, like my age, um, that like it with... Um, like with some concealer and stuff like when they put it together I'll do a mixology for you guys for this one because I I love the mixology that I came up for it to like do under eyes like if you have severe severe under eye circles you're gonna love this stuff um, then I got a brows a go go um, kit it's a nice brow kit for those of you who are just starting out and wanting to learn how to do your brows and um, need like a little tutorial of some sort it comes with like the little tutorial inserts and whatnot um, the powders I the powders that come in it are a mix of all the different, um, the three different brow kits that Benefit has. So it has a light powder, it has a dark powder, and then the medium wax so that you can mix it all together. Um, this I think is a good kit for those of you who um, are in between um, like hair colors. You know what I mean? Like if you like to dye your hair a lot and you're not sure what brow color will fit you, whether it should be medium, dark, or light, or whatever. Um, this has a little bit of everything. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it also has an eyeliner, a brush, and some highlighting powders. It has eye bright and pan form. And then it has um, uh, just like a highlighting shimmer powder underneath. And then it also comes with like one of the mini Benefit um, tweezer man tweezers. Um, next is Girl Meets Pearl. I love this stuff. Um, this works amazing if you mix it in with your moisturizer or if you mix it in with your tinted moisturizer. Oh my god, this is amazing stuff. Um, this is one of my, ah, this is probably one of my favorite benefit products ever. And I'm twisting it because I haven't broken to this one yet. Oi! Okay. It's gonna take a couple clicks for you to get all the way to the top. But, so this is what it, it comes out as, like that. And then when you blend it, you blend, blend, blend. You see that? Look at that. Oh, maze balls. Um, I do a mixology, my personal mixology, a lot with this, with You Rebel. Um, our triple performing face lotion, I mix it with that. It gives a really amazing dewy glow. Like It gives a nice radiance to the skin. My clients love this stuff. Um, price point's a little high, but it's going to last you for a long time. It's $30, but honestly, you won't need replenishment for hella long, depending on how often you use it. Okay. Um, next I got some lashes um, we got trained on our lashes and we have about I think eight or nine I can't remember off the top of my head um, these one of these are my favorites but the other one is just okay to me so I got these two this one these are the pinups these are my favorites and it says pinup in the back these are my favorites. Um, you guys know I love thick, full lashes. Um, I like double stacking my lashes a lot. Um, th with these, I don't have to. These are amazing. If you guys love to like look all glam and that's your thing, this is what you want. Um, and then these, sorry, the one is falling off. These are the Rockettes. These are really pretty. I do like them. They're very uncomfortable though. I'm not going to lie. Um, what I do like about them is, I'm not even sure if you can tell, but on the band there's like black glitter on the band. So they're pretty like when you're blinking and stuff. Um, these were really pretty during Halloween. A lot of my clients like this for Halloween. However, consensus is they're uncomfortable as hell. Um, they they don't sit on your lash line. They sit on top of your lashes because they swoop kind of like this. Most lashes swoop upward. These kind of go like this. So there's not really a curl to them. They just kind of 
like that. So when you're wearing them, they're just kind of edged out a little bit. Lip gloss, another one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of their lip glosses. There are certain shades I like. I got two, actually. I'm just looking in the box. I found another one. This one is Foxy Lady. You guys know me and my pink. But this pink is a little bit different. Um, this pink has a little bit of an iridescence to it. Um, has like a little bit of... Yeah. But in, other case, in any case, I love this one. Um, I love the name, too. Foxy Lady. <laughs> Um, if you like wearing pink lipsticks, you'll really like this one. I don't suggest wearing it by itself, um, just because the flecks kind of come out. It has, like, purple and blue flecks in it. I don't even know if you can tell, but the purple and blue flecks are not exactly flattering on the lips on its own, so I would definitely suggest wearing, like, a pink lipstick or a nude lipstick as a base with that. Um, and then this one is another favorite of mine. You guys know that I have three benefit... Uh, favorite benefit lip glosses if you've watched my last benefit hauls or benefit favorite stuff um, My favorite absolute Benefit lip gloss is Nookie Nookie um, again one that I sell like crazy. That's the one I'm wearing today um, I'm wearing it on top of max kind of sexy um, But this one the other one I got is dancing queen this one. I adore I wear it a lot at the counter um, when I'm like not really feeling like going too crazy on a lip that day I just kind of pop this on it has it's a little bit clear and it has like a nice sheer pink like juicy then I got some box blushes um, I got Dallas this looks amazing on tan skin um, I prefer it on older women though like more mature skin um, just because it's like more their thing it's like a nice polished plummy bronze shade and that's a shade that a lot of older women wear um, I do love it. It's not my personal favorite, like, for me, but I, I just wanted it just to have it, <laughs> kind of. Um, you can kind of see it right there. It is very pretty, though. I'm not gonna lie. I do like it. It is one of my favorites from Benefit. My absolute favorite Benefit one probably has to be Bella Bomba, but, um, yeah. Love this one. Um, good for my kit. I don't use it a lot on myself, um, but it's really nice to kind of contour, on the outer cheeks a little bit um, or just to kind of just nice a nice flush it's a nice polished look um, just enough to give you some color okay this one is hula this is so famous you guys should know about this already I have a love-hate relationship with hula okay um I don't know sometimes I love it sometimes I don't it's really frustrating um, Right now, I'm loving it, but like two months ago, maybe even a month ago, I kind of hated it. Like, I feel like it looks a little muddy on my skin tone. It's a matte bronzer, so if you guys love being bronzed up, whatever. Um, it's a really good bronzer, in my opinion. I feel like it can look look a little muddy on certain skin tones. Um, there are days when I feel like it looks muddy on me. Here's the thing. I don't like it much when it when it's summertime because I'm already super duper tan. So I prefer more, you know, shimmery bronzers because I like that glow. Um, this one's a matte bronzer, so on me in the summer it's kind of muddy because I'm darker. I think now that I'm getting just a touch lighter, it's starting to look a lot more wearable on me. Um, I feel like this looks better on like NC42 and lower, but preferably NC40. And lower in MAC shades um, because it'll actually show up on you this one is my one of my favorites right now and you'll see this in my um, favorites video pretty soon and this is 10 um, this is the one where it's the duo it comes with the highlighter and bronzer the bronzer parts not my personal favorite I don't really care for it but it is pretty on the cheeks um, it looks really pretty on women of color when you mix the two um, it looks really pretty on the cheeks uh, but my favorite part is the highlighter. I love this. I'm like putting all the highlighters on this side. Um, this just gives you like the softest glow. It works on every skin tone, not joking. Um, and on anyone darker than me, some people were like, oh, that's a little too pink for me. It's so light. I'm like, no, just trust me. Um, then I got another browsings kit. Okay, I love this stuff. Um, I haven't used it in a long time because I ran out of it. I had the old packaging where it was kind of rounded on the edges. This is the new packaging that we've had, I think, for about a year now. Um, maybe less than that, but about a year, I would say. Um, this stuff is an amazing kit. It's $30, but it's worth every penny because mine lasted me like three years before I even needed a new one, and that was me using it every day. <laughs> um, 
and then I switched to my um, NYX Brow Cake Powder because I was kind of looking for something, you know, more wearable for me and more affordable. Um, and I do love it. But then when I started kind of reshaping my brows a little bit, um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I know that I've been growing out the middle a little bit more and I've been kind of growing out certain pieces of it just to kind of give it a better taper. Um, relatively, it's about the same shape as the one you guys saw in my brow tutorial, but it's just a little bit longer both on the inner and the outer um, corners. Um, and because of that, the brow cake powder is a little bit too dark. So my brows look dummy dark, like I, I'm sure you guys have noticed in a few of my videos recently that my brows are like super bold. Um, I'm just happy about the shape right now, so I've been playing around a lot with, um, you know, different brow things, and I think I'm, I'm back to this again, like this is my favorite again, or at least I use it for work. Um, I'm wearing it today, so if you're wondering what it looks like, this is how it looks like. I love this stuff. You guys have been, I've been getting a lot of comments lately on, um, my brows, and this is what I've been using. Um, so it comes with a colored wax and a colored, oops, colored wax and a colored powder and then two brushes with like a mini tweezers. Um, I use shade dark. Medium is too red for me. Um, I'll, I'll do a whole tutorial on how to use this damn thing because some people never know how to use it. I get questions every day. I got two more creaseless cream shadows. Hi! Um, these are the only other two that I love. I mean, I like the other ones, but they weren't like... Like, they were ones that I would buy at full price, I guess, but, um, since we got gratis, I was just kind of like, cool. <laughs> um, I already have Strut, Birthday Suit, and Fahrenheit Fab, um, and I wanted these two really bad. Um, this one is Stiletto. It is a beautiful plum purple shade. Hi! Looks like that. This is an amazing color. It's amazing. I love this stuff. Love, 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 love. And then I got skinny jeans. You guys can see. Sorry, excuse my nails. My nails are fucked up. <laughs> I need to get them filled. Um, and then this is skinny jeans. And this is amazing for a smoky eye. So these two I really love. Um, I'm like wiping it on a towel behind me. Um, creaseless cream shadows I adore. They last forever. Um, they don't ever, um, if you, if you don't store them properly, they will dry up, not joking. I've had clients come in and exchange them because they barely touched it and it was dried up. I even had a client that bought one that was already dried up. So what I do when I, when I, when I choose it for them, I open it up, I look at it, make sure it's cool. Um, if you don't store these in a cool place, they will dry up, not joking. So store them in a cool place, not anywhere near heat or um, not like by a window or any in your sh like in your bathroom where there's moisture. Um, really store these well because if not, they will dry up. But I adore the pigmentation and once they're on, they're on. Um, and then I got a new Hello Flawless powder. The last time I had this was when um, they had like all the old shades. Um, the last one I ever had was, I think it was called Toffee. Like all about me, 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 toffee or something. Um, this one is Why Walk When You Can Strut Hazelnut. When you see it, you're going to ask me, um, honey, that's super dark. But I promise you, it is not that dark. Um, it looks dark when you see it, like... Yeah, but it it's perfect for me. Um, I was kind of in between toasted beige and hazelnut and I couldn't decide what I really wanted but the thing is, is I don't use this as an all-over face powder you can it is an amazing all-over face powder by the way it's so finely milled um, it's amazing and it has SPF in it but I use this to create my foundation and when I mix it with you know some stuff because I'm going to show you a separate video I'm not going to tell you everything um when I mix it with some other thing it kind of lightens it a little bit so I got the darker color because when I did it when I experimented with the lighter one, down, down, the light shader, la la la, wow, <laughs> the shade down, which is toasted beige, it was too light for me. So when I mix it with this one, it's perfect. Um, I really love this powder though. I'm going to do a whole separate review and a whole like my favorite benefit products type of thing when I get a chance. But for now, this is what it is. Okay. Then I got a U Rebel. Um, I was running out of mine. I have, I've talked about this in a previous video. Um, this is how big the bottle is. It's super big. It will last you forever. I love this stuff though. Um, however, I cannot use it by itself. 
Um, I've mentioned in a previous video um, when I was talking about some benefit stuff that I, I had gotten. Um, I can't use Rebel by itself. It will break me the f out. <laughs> um, terribly, actually. Like little bumps here, bumps here. All bad. Bad situation. When I mix it with Girl Meets Pearl, though, amaze balls. So these two are my, I got two skincare products. Um, these two are two of my favorite things out of the whole entire skincare line. One of them is a Total Moisture. This is a huge jar. Look at that. That's humongo. It will last me for hella long. You get about, depending on how often you use this, um, it will last you anywhere from three to six months, maybe longer. Um, my skincare stuff usually lasts me about six to nine months because I know exactly how much of it to use and I am very spare with it. Um, Oh, this stuff I only use as a night cream, so I know that it'll last me longer than six months. Look how much is in there. Um, this is an amazing hand cream also. Um, this is what we use as a hand cream at the counter, um, and everyone compliments on how good it smells. It smells amazing. This is by far one of my favorite skincare products. It has made my skin so much more supple, so much more radiant. I only use it as a night cream though. I would never use it during the day. However, if you have really dry skin, like stupid dry skin, especially now that winter is coming around, I would use this. If you are more, if you have more mature skin and your skin is kind of like that dry, patchy, wrinkly type, um, this will heal that. Um, I've, and then this, I promised you guys that I would talk about this. Um, I had one of these. I gave the other one to my mom. Um, I was going to show it in my skincare video, but I didn't have it with me because I gave it away. Um, so I got a new one, and this is the Ultra Radiance um, Rehydrating Mist. I love the way this stuff smells. Oh. Oh. Sorry, there's a garbage truck. Okay, it's like a spritz of de-stress every time. Um, what I love about this stuff is it literally does so much. Like, it'll set your makeup. It'll take away that cakey look and bring you the dewiness back. It'll, like, bring your face back to life. Um, it de-stresses your skin. So, like, if you're having a really rough day, um, like, at work, a lot of us respray this on ourselves all the time because it smells, not only does it smell amazing, but it helps calm us down. Um, it's very soothing as far as the smell goes. And every time you spritz it, it's like spritzing our skincare on your face, like, every time. Um... A lot of my clients underestimate it because they're, they're like, well, how does it compare to, like, Max Fix Plus or, you know, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray? Um, it's all in the same family, but it's not the same. Um, if you're looking for a makeup setting spray, not for you. If you're looking for a hydrating mist, kind of like a mix of Evian, Fix Plus, and Urban Decay, this is what you want. Um, and plus it has our little Radiant skincare in it, so I just had to put that out there. There is one more product that I had, but I have no idea where it is. Number one, it's because I don't really use it. Um, I got it for my kit, and or just in case my mom wanted to try it, and I think that's where it is. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of it. Um, it's the Eye Bright Pencil. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry, this video is stupid long. I gotta go. <laughs> um, if you guys want reviews on anything that I mentioned or whatever, let me know. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Miss you. Bye.